Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, we are here tonight to recognize some very, very special guests whose iconic careers and achievements have become internationally recognized. That they're actually here with us tonight is nothing short of extraordinary. They're an unlikely couple, you could say, but they have made magic together. Ladies and gentlemen, the great men of the legendary ballet. Tonight we're in Los Angeles at the Wilshire Ebel Theater to participate in an event honoring the men of Ballet Russe. These gentlemen have traveled the world together in a very close-knit team. This is a wonderful reunion and we'd like to bring you in to understand what it was like for some of them and what it's like to be honored tonight. I'm Anna Lux with Dance Channel TV. Well, it's an honor, that, a signal honor that I never expected. Somebody called me up two or three weeks ago and they said, you know, they're doing a thing that in the grocery, you know, and they mentioned, I said, oh, really? Oh, it sounds great. And then I got another call about a week later and I, I said to a friend of mine, this must be important. <laughs> so here I am. There aren't many of us left now. <laughs> you know, we're kind of like, pardon me, we're kind of like the civil, civil soldier, warriors of the Civil War, and they get out and they march. And they start out with a whole lot of them, and they finally end up with one guy. And he stops, he looks around, and he says, I guess I'm it. <laughs> there are quite a few of us left now. So tell me, was dancing in the Ballet Russe like a war for you? Was it that kind of a challenge? It was a wonderful life. It was another world. It was another, another thing. In my whole life, 24 hours a day for six years was the ballet. You know, and the roles that I, that I danced. And, it was an exciting life. It meant a heck of a lot. And there aren't many people that have had the opportunities that we all had. When you performed with yeah. Ballet Russe, yeah. did you look ahead to the future and think that there would be a moment like this to no, honor no, you? Never, never. No, I think it's wonderful. I just, you know, I was so uh, uh, surprised when they told me we we're going to do a thing like that. And I said, oh my God, that would be great. And it's going to be great. I tell you, it's incredible. Sorge, what does this evening mean to you? Well, uh, everything that uh, all of my friends bring me, uh, happiness, 
Uh, I'm being rejuvenated from 90 years of age. I feel nine and stupid. <laughs> Can you give me one of your best memories of dancing with the men of the Ballet Russe? Uh, all of my friends, they mean a great deal to me. Uh, I have friends like Paul Moore is with Marquis de uh, Grand Ballet du Marquis de Cuevas, and then the rest of them uh, from ba Belarus to Monte Carlo. And uh, it's wonderful to be kind of home back home. <laughs> The whole experience of being with the company was uh, something absolutely indescribable for this day and age. It, it, uh, Dorothy and I and another lady, Roberta, were uh, roommates for the entire season, and uh, we have all kinds of stories that we can tell or some that we can't tell. Is this a moment in your life that you think about daily, dancing with the Ballet Russe? Absolutely. Every day. Every day. It doesn't go away from you. There's always a piece of, of your past and something you've learned that fits right into and you'll reminisce and you'll go back and you'll remember the people and the, the events that you've experienced. It's, it's great fun and this is like being with your family again. That's right.